All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to my stream. Let me make sure I can still mute and unmute. You guys won't know that it's muted, but hang on, I'll be right back. All right, cool, that appears to work. All right, let me check the audio, make sure nothing messed up that it's muted, but hang on, I'll be right back. Hey, what do you know, that works. All right, let me get Kerbal going. Good morning, Nezo. Good afternoon, good evening, Nezo, Rob. Fogs, Jebs, how you guys doing? All right, there's Kerbal going. Let me press this key. That didn't change, eh? I wasn't, I'm, I'm not happy where my microphone is. And I was watching someone stream today, and I like where they had it. But being that they do a talk show, their microphone was always in front of their mouse, uh, the, the monitor. I'm going, I can't do that because I have trouble, you know, crashing rockets with that. So we're just going to leave it here, and hopefully it works. Uh, I'm loud and clear. Thank you, Nezo. Appreciate that. Somebody said I was clipping yesterday. And in fact, when I was playing some StarCraft with a with a friend, um, I was coming in real crappy. It turns out it was actually a, a Discord issue. Let me make sure... Uh, yeah, okay. I guess. Alright, hang on. Let me get rid of that so we don't have two... That should be the default, right? Okay, good. Properties, levels, that's good. All right, so it looks like everything should be okay. Well, it was, it was for some reason, um, after I used Discord one day, and I went back to using it again, for some reason my recording level went from 49% to 6. So something changed it. I don't know what changed it. All right, so let's get into the game. And let me adjust a monitor ever so slightly take a swig of my iced tea oh yeah that's the stuff now what I was going to do I was going to be slightly delayed today I was going to work with uh, someone yeah I know Skype does that too um, but it mainly did it Skype mainly did it when you told Skype to auto adjust your things which is what Discord does too so maybe Discord is doing it I don't know I don't know. I'll have to do some more thorough testing. Um, I was going to work with someone to kind of step me through some of the problems I'm having with... Uh, Jebs with a host. Thank you, Jebs. Appreciate it. Um, because I want to try... I want to do simul... Simul? Simul... Dual stream. I'm going to do Twitch and Beam. And I'm having some trouble areas. So I was going to get some help. But... um. They must have fallen asleep or something. I don't know. So anyways, I'm here now. We're going to do some Kerbal. And I think... So in addition to uh, Hubble Repair, the mission, I think... Let's go get it. Whoa, look at all the science. Cool. Um, all we have to do is, is rendezvous and it says end repair. So I don't know what that means. But I thought I would do a little role play with this. Because we left a docking port up there, or we could take something and just attach it. But um, what would what would we attach to it to say we repaired it? And um, repair, fix the solar panel. Yeah, I know, I know. The only thing is that in Kerbal, I don't think an engineer can fix solar panels. They can do shoots and wheels. They can't do solar panels, or, or am I wrong? Where is the Hubble? Now let's see if the Hubble flies apart. So that, that was um, that was a little uh, disturbing. The dancy, yeah, oh, oh that, right, my dancy solar panels, yes. I think I, yeah, we addressed that. Um, your engineer broke all your solar panels when you told him to fix them. Um, you need to have, you need to have a talk with your engineers. So I have a docking port we can dock something to. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Fox. <laughs> How you doing, Rob? Um, you know, maybe is what I'll do is we'll just attach an antenna. 
Because... Should be able to do that, right? A little whip antenna? Ooh. But where, where do I want to put it, though? I guess I could put it right, right here. Or right here. I'll put it right here. Alright. So, um... Nezo, you don't have to tell me. If you do a retweet, I'm actually going to get it. I'll see it. So, I understand. Do, 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 do. But I appreciate it. Do, 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 do. That was me. I was just double checking my audio. Alright, cool. Alright, so did we already take the STS-61? No, we didn't. Alright, so let's go take it. Okay, what's up with Kerbal? Why is it going so slow? I didn't want to go to the VAB. Do, do, do. Man, that is a slow transition. Alright. There we go. Alright, let's take that. Um, let's go and collect some science from Eve. Minmus. Uh, Duna. Minmus. And that's it. Alright, so let's go do these science missions real quick. Okay, I don't need that. There we go. Chat bot. It's a bot that's a chat. Alright, so what do I gotta do first? Um, let's go off to Eve. That sounds fantastic. Uh, there's Eve. And we're gonna do from space around Eve. Wow, there's a lot of stuff around Eve. What do we got here? I'm gonna do that. Also, I think my my webcam is not in the center of my monitor. I will address that some other time. Do I have science on this thing that I can transmit? Oh, I do. All right, let's turn this off. We don't want need, we don't need this on anymore. <coughs> <coughs> All right, and we can send some. Yeah, we know that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, what else we got? Um, Minmus. We got surface and space. So if we type in scanner, <coughs> Minmus science scanner. There it is. Ah, all of a sudden dry throat. How you doing, Maru? Maru? There's our science scanner around Minmus. It's a big old. It's a big old satellite. We're just doing some routine science, transmitting, collecting. What else we got? <clears throat> um, <coughs> surface, surface of Minmus. So we need a lander. Minmus science lander. There it is. Oh, it's nighttime. Crud. And our batteries are low. Let's go ahead and accelerate the clock a little bit. Get the sun out. This was a lander early on in the game. So it doesn't have too much battery um, or anything. And, and at the time, Minmus was hot for me. It was where I was getting all my science from. I didn't have an RTG or anything, so. All right, what's next? Um, Duna, from surface of Duna. Ooh, so we wanna do a Viking one. Cool. All right, 
And of course it's is Viking is that the only lander I have for Viking? Or is there another Is Viking is there another Viking on the way? Oh there is. Alright. So Um How much battery do we have here? We have some. Well let's just do let's do a uh thermometer again. See if we can get through that. Oh, we're done. All right, cool. So I think that's all of our science. Let's see what sort of bank we got here. Wow, look at that, 250,000, 140, so 300, almost 400,000, 500,000, 700,000 kerbuckles just for collecting some science. All right. So I think is what we're going to do is to repair the Hubble. We're going to, and this is going to be a challenge because I don't know if the shuttle is rated to go out that distance and to do a rendezvous and it's got a weird elliptical orbit too. I don't know. All right. So, um, let's see here. If we go to save stat ships, um, so STS-31 is the last shuttle we did. <clears throat> in fact, this probably got the Hubble in it. All right. Because the Hubble is at a... I don't think the shuttle is going to be able to do that. Uh-uh. I don't think so. I think we're going to lose the shuttle. Whoa! Um, Rarest Iowa, thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. I forgot I changed my, my sounds. STS-31. Okay, that is the last shuttle we launched. Hmm. You know, I may do an experiment here. Let's call this STS-61. Oops, not 64, 61. And is what we're going to do is we're going to take the cargo out because we're not going to launch the Hubble again. So we'll take you out. And then we don't need these. Um, and then we can clean up the cargo bay. That's right, a little tidy. Whitey. NASA, NASA hasn't tried losing the space shuttle that way. Yeah. So I think is what I want to try to do. I think, do I go here? Yeah. And I'm going to grab this. I'm going to see if I can get the script to work for the launch. Maybe... Maybe it'll actually work a little bit better than me. I don't know. Probably will. <laughs> um, all right. So, so the question is, do we have to put anything in the cargo bay? We don't. Um, Let's see here. Um, so the requirements are seven crewmen. All right. So let's take a pilot, another pilot, take a scientist, engineer, a mechanic, another engineer, and another engineer. Look at Jeb's going. I spelled his name wrong, but he's going. So that's uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So seat 6. Oh, wait. You're in the crew cabin. Uh, okay, let's, let's swap you here. 
One, two, three, four. So let's take and put Jeb there. All right. So Jeb, you should be in zero, one, two, three. There you are. And what we're going to do is we're going to give you a tool and also the antenna. Hopefully that works. All right, so um, so we're stage four. So hopefully I didn't mess anything up. What are those two engines? Okay, that's good. So we're gonna try a scripted launch. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I, I don't know, I don't know if this shuttle can do this. I mean, how did they do it in real life? Did they have the Hubble adjust? Or was the Hubble out? See, in, in, in the STS-31 mission, the game had us put the, uh, the Hubble, so let me do a save here. And if we go out and check out the Hubble, wait, I can do this. Will it actually tell me? Yeah, so it's a 600 by 593. So it's basically 600 by 600. This is what I'm gonna do we're going to have the Hubble adjust its trajectory to, we'll say, 225 by 225, if it has enough fuel. And then that way the shuttle won't get launched and there won't be a disaster, no catastrophe. Everyone's happy. Punching cookies later on for everyone. All right, let's get rid of this. Let's turn on the engine. Yeah, we have, we have the fuel. We, we can do this. Um, let's go here. And, um, then after we fix it, we can return it. I, I think that's a, an awesome plan. Who's aboard on this plan? I mean, not on board the shuttle, but. Because when I start building the ISS, I think I'm going to put it about 225 also. The reason why I picked 225 is I think that's 25 kilometers above um, the physical time warp, the, where you can time warp faster. So we'll say, um, I want 225, so let's see here. All right, close enough. So let's um, have it burn that. Oh, look at my atmosphere. It's moving. Yeah, Iowa's a state. Somebody give me a hard time about your state. I haven't been paying attention to chat, sorry. Now that I was talking about programming, Fog said, don't trap the shuttle. Rare state. Rycor is punching cookies. Why are you punching cookies? You want little tiny cookies? Oh, Rob was asking. Gotcha. All right. Remember, be kind to your fellow, 
you know, stream participant. All right, so we want to do PE orbit, another 180. All right, so, so Kerbal KSC put in a uh, couple of uh, maneuver programs to the Hubble. Something's wrong with my game. To uh, lower the orbit of the Hubble telescope. So the shuttle can reach it, for one. We're still going to do a scripted automated launch because um, uh, Scorp, the gentleman that made the shuttle, told me what I did wrong when I added a payload. I said, all right. So we don't have a payload. I just want to make sure the script still works. And the script does a lot better launch than I do. A lot better. But still, I'm going to have to do a rendezvous. We're going to have to get the Kerbal out. We're going to have to place an antenna. And then we're going to have to land. And then, um, I want to see about sending our first crate full of stuff to Duna. We're going to test it out on Minmus first, though. And I don't have any shoes on, so my feet are sliding all over the floor. It's weird. All right, 225 by 225, sweet, perfect, awesome. I hit M for math, there we go. Let's go down to STS-61. Jack, how you doing, Jack? Good morning to you. All right, so here we are, our shuttle. Let's turn on the lights. There's the lights, let's get rid of that. Speaking of lights, there we go. And let's get rid of that. Do that, do that, do that. And I don't remember how to do this. Hang on, I got my notes though. Hang on. Wait, hold it. Where'd I put them? No, no, there it is. Found it. Whoa. All right. So we want to type in switch. Okay. That's not what I want. All right. Fine. Let's do this. It's little things. All right. There we go. Switch to zero. Then we want to say run STS, and we're going to put this up at 150 with no inclination. Run space STS 150. Da, da, da. All right, let's see if this works. So the problem I was having before is when the SRBs were empty, it wasn't decoupling when I had a payload. Oops. Oh, all right. Look at that, it's a shuttle. I just landed my Tundra assembly plant and I have one question, I need radiators um for the assembly plant I I did I don't think there's any cooling needed. The assembly plants and the refineries do not need coolant. I had cooling on my reactors. Unless I mis misread it. To be honest with you, I might be I might be wrong. So far, so good. And again, I set the script to, to, to go up to 125. C 
Christy. How you doing, Christy? Everyone say hi to Cav Mac. She streams over on Bean, so you need to go do this. Hang on. Oops. I'll figure out how to use the browser here in a sec. So, click on that link and go give Christy a follow on Beam. She streams. There we go. That works. Yeah, I replied back to your DM too, Christy. That's okay. So, guys, do me a favor. Click on the link. Go give her a follow. Very, very, very nice person. Smart. She, she loves to play with beta software. I don't like to do that anymore. She's going to help me get set up streaming on Beam. Beta is all the things. Beta is my life. We're just going to go repair this the, the Hubble telescope. That's our mission today. Well, we're going to do some other stuff too. I'm going to scratch my back then. Alright, right, so far so good. See, if this was me, I'd be going, no, no, yes, no, yes. So. Uh, and I don't, whoa. Don't need that on. Yeah, there was a smashed solar panel or a smashed uh, lens or reflector or something. I can't. I, I don't remember. But our mission is. So we have seven crew, yay! Uh, we have to rendezvous and repair it. We're just going to put another antenna on it, and we're supposed to stay up here for six days. We are not going to do that because, I, well, actually we could. Did I pack supplies? I don't think I did. No, I don't have any supplies. But as a life support, they can last 15 days. And they have habitation before they become tourists. We can do we can do the six days, but... I mean, do you guys want me to time warp for six days? I don't. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Okay, so we've reached our 150 apoapsy. We're going to jettison our external tank or ET. So now it's it's uh it'll get burned up in the atmosphere because it's uh you know it's uh suborbital. We're gonna open up our and turn on our fuel cell. Okay, I guess I won't. Now we're going to circularize at 150. I'm trying to get in here to activate the fuel cells. So we won't run out of power. Power's everything. There we go. Fuel cells are activated. And there's absolutely nothing in our cargo bay. You can eat some insulation to feel full. Might warm you up too, depends upon your situation, I guess. All right, getting all nice and circularized. Are we done, really? 152 by 150, close enough. All right, so let's turn on all the scatter here. 
and um, I'm going to control from here because that's how I roll and we have 610 delta V I'm pretty sure we can't what is that oh that's our tank <laughs> so let's find the Hubble let's target that fits like a glove all right so our target is where where is it um i think i can spot yep that hey poodman how you doing exactly that's the renaissance textures i mean if there's better textures i'll use them but i've been using them ever since 105 i know okay that's not it i seem to have lost our target poodman knows everything about KSP. Oh, there it is. All right, there's our target right there. You got a good eye? Yes, you do. What about the other one? Is that one good too? All right, so here's what we're gonna do is we're at a 150 by 150. Our target's at 225-ish, so we're gonna plop a maneuver node here that is a lie. I know partial amounts. You know one sixteenth of everything, which makes you extremely dangerous, right, Pudman? <laughs> um, we're gonna raise our altitude to match our targets. So we're gonna go to a 225, 225. And it looks like we're just gonna wait an orbit. Okay, I, I actually can't think through all this. So let me, I want, no. I want that and the relays. Which one's the relays? I can't tell. Which one's the relays? Is that the relays? No, that's the relays. There we go. So I think the Hubble is a relay. There it is. All right. So let's wait in orbit. Two, three, four. So four orbits. And let's see if we can't drag this around. Oh, look at there. Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna hang out in four orbits to get, okay. No, I don't wanna go that way. Stop it. Right, I'm trying to fix this. Oh, we got an inclination issue, don't we? Oh, look at that. We are. All right, let's fix that. Twenty point four kilometers. Yikes. That's better. Eleven okay, it's whoa. Hmm. You know what, hang on. Let's do this. Since I, I thought that our inclination was pretty much spot on, which I was wrong. One sixteenth, you prefer look at the math. Two to the fourth to the first. I don't know what that I'm not gonna do the math I finished school I'm very happy with my skills do not test me mister please don't test me all right let's drop a maneuver node here and let's let's fix our, our alignment to our target our inclination or our phase all right cool now as soon as the game lets me we will raise our altitude again uh, 225, I can't see. 215. Um, 222, two, oh, all right, hang on. Too much. All right, okay. Now let's see if we wait a few orbits. We drag this around. Math rules. Yes, it does. Let's 
so it would appear that Oops, oops, too, too, too many things in the way. All right, what do we got here? 6.8 kilometers, can we clean this up a little bit? Uh, 6.0, 5.4.3, all right, that's good enough. All right, so that's gonna cost us 100, and seven delta V. Oops. Now let's make sure I'm controlling from the docking port. I am. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do this maneuver, shall we? Uh, I forgot how to play the game. Uh, math. That remembers that that reminds me that Family Guy chapter where Peter takes out his calculator, a little Chinese guy, and come on, do math. I hate to say this, I've only watched a couple episodes of Family Guy, but I enjoy American Dad, and I know it's the same crew, so I don't know. Don't judge me, or if you want to, do it to yourself. Hey, didn't the shuttle have an antenna? I might modify this so it has an antenna. I have to find a picture. Let me see. Shuttle antenna. American Dad is actually funny. It, I enjoy it. I'm just, I, I didn't think I would like Family Guy. And when I started watching American Dad, I'm going, and it was on at 10, so it had some language. Oh, has it gone downhill over the last few years? Well, you know. What can I say? All right. Images. Oh, look at that. It does have a little dish antenna. That It's called the Kuban antenna. I think we can accommodate that. Okay. How are we doing on electrical? Electrical's fine. All right, this is the last lap around the block here. I was in college when Family Guy started. Maybe I've gotten old. I just, I just never... I never started watching it, so I'm kind of out of my... You know, I don't know who the background, and I don't know why that would be funny when people are laughing. But with American Dad, I started from the first episode. Clearly. Now, I know most of the characters. All right. So, hopefully... Alright, so we are here and there's our target and our rendezvous is way over here. So we're going to warp to here. Now I have a mod called Better Burn Time, so the information I see right here is so cool. Otherwise you have to keep flipping out to the map and stuff like that. Alright, so our target should be right up there. So let's see, what is, um, so we don't, we don't have too much of a separation gap. So is what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a little burn, five minutes till, let's get closer. Let's go ahead and
So I want to make sure this 3.7 is going down. It is. So we are going to increase our our um, target speed uh, in uh, in relation to our distance, and we're going to. Um, but you can see we're also decreasing our uh, our intercept time. So this is getting smaller. This is getting much closer. But is what we're going to do is now we're going to turn around. Hopefully I can do this. I enjoy American Dad. I think it's hilarious. So is what I want to do is. I want this to be zero. I mean, not that we're going to dock with anything, but uh, let's see if I can do this with the shuttle. So what we want to do is we want to push the yellow thing. Ode, how you doing? We want to push the yellow thing on top of the purple thing, or the gold thing on top of the pinkish purple thing, whatever you want, to, whatever color you think it is. And what I'm trying to do is a we're going to slow down to our target because we're getting very close but at the same time i am again narrowing the separation gap in our rendezvous and keep in mind that all the fuel i'm using means less fuel i have to get home right, how are we doing here 1.8 all right One point four. I'm wondering if we can use um sorry, didn't mean to I bumped my desk. Great ode under the gray mountain. Okay, let's see here. Ten kilometers. I can probably use RCS, but RCS can use the same It doesn't look very elegant the way I'm doing it. I understand. All right, hang on. We got this. Perfect. 1.6 kilometers. Okay, why did I say perfect when it's 1.6 kilometers? Okay, we're um, four minutes away from rendezvous. So let's do an F5. And then what we'll do is we'll do a time warp to get our rendezvous about two minutes. So I'm looking, whoa, okay, 47 seconds. Not what I was planning on, but still, we can make this work. Out of speed, so I got to point towards it again. This is hard with the shuttle. Rockets are easier. But look at our gap: zero point five, four, three. Come on, give me a two. Two. <laughs> All right, we need to put on the brakes here real quick. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Game, you don't need to lock up on me, dude.
Alright, I think that's going to be close enough. So I'll do an F5 here. We're, we're approaching it very slowly. So what we're going to do is we're going to accelerate time. Well, there's the Hubble we got here. I don't have a whole lot of fuel left. For some reason, it hasn't detected that we've don or rendezvoused. I mean, this is pretty much rendezvoused. My bad. Dude, dude. trying to null our speed out so we don't bump into it no it just says rendezvous with Hubble not dock and repair all right so we have no speed cool let's do an f5 and is what we're gonna do is gonna find our Jebs there he is have him EVA and he has the piece of equipment that we're going to attempt to install on the Hubble. Evidently the antenna got, got busted or something. I, I don't know. Alright, all of a sudden my, my lights went bright in here for some reason. I don't know. All right, let's see if I can do this. So we want to bring out, bring out our tool, open up our inventory, and now this is a surface attachable item, so it should. Hey, we attached an antenna. We're gonna extend the antenna. All right, cool. And nothing. Great. Well, all right. Let's um get Jeb back to the shuttle here. Everything looks okay. We did what we set out to do. We installed a brand new antenna. Get a board, 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 and um, so 
So now, here's my dilemma. Do we have enough fuel to get home? I'm tapping into the backup reserves. 346. Yikes. I don't know. Turn off, turn off RCS. Let's go ahead and close that. And um, I guess to save fuel is what I could do is um, not not try to do a, a recircularization and just land from this altitude. So is what we're going to do is. Um, Let's turn on trajectories here. Set our target. And yeah. Let's see if we can do this. Drop a maneuver node there. And we're going to pull retro. And again, I want to overshoot the target a little bit. So that's good. Oh, geez. I don't think we're going to have enough fuel. We'll find out. All right, let's do an F5. Let's go ahead and do this burn. I'm going to try. If it gets to where I get really close and I have to enable a cheat, I will. It just means I might have to alter. I might have burnt up too much fuel trying to rendezvous with the Hubble. Speaking of Hubble. So we're going to rely on reaction wheels during the re-entry. So I won't use any RCS. Which is going to be hard. So this is going to use up two-thirds of our fuel. Hundred and three delta V. Ugh. I'm nervous. Um All right, let's go ahead and accelerate a little bit here. Then we're going to stop and make sure the reaction wheels are pulling the nose down to prograde that I'm locked onto. I want it, I want this at 33 though. Can I can I Oh, there there. Okay. Again, hope everyone's having a great Saturday. I want to appreciate everyone for uh, for for chiming in. I know you probably have more exciting things going on right now. Like house cleaning, you know, doing the dishes, stuff like that. Just kidding. So again, this is a pretty high altitude. So I don't know how this is going to fare. All right, here comes Kerbal India. Or eating ice cream. Wait a minute. All right, so here we are getting ready to cross over Kerbal India here. So 
So we're going to have to cause some drag here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. House cleaning, meanwhile. Great plan. There you go. Way to go, Jack. Multitask. All right. So again, we only have 103 Delta V. I, uh, I don't feel very comfortable with that. And we have seven Kerbal's lives on the line here. So, puts bowl of ice cream on the imaginary table in the middle of the chat. I got a spoon. I got a spoon. I don't know why my lights went also major bright all of a sudden. It's not professional lighting. Thanks, Rob, for sharing your ice cream with everyone. Appreciate it. All right, so right now, that's the shoreline. If and we, if and when, when we, if, when we get there, if we're 1,500 meters per second, that's perfect. If we're faster than that, we're going to have some problems. If we're slower, I can deal with slower. Now, a second milestone is the mountain range, 1,200 meters per second. So, we are coming in a lot faster than we should. So, as soon as we get to the mountain range, I'm going to start doing some, uh, hopefully, I can do some S-turns here. Slow us down. Actually, it looks like... We might be okay. But I just don't know how much of this Delta V I have to burn up to, uh... To do my turn. I'm going to try to do it without RCS. Alright, so 1400 meters per second at the, at the shoreline. Cool. <laughs> Shallow ice cream? I didn't bring a shovel. And looks like we're kind of on the left-hand side, so we're going to have to start banking a little bit to the right. So again, I have no RCS to help. This is just the reaction wheels doing this. I'm just trying to veer us off to the right a little bit, and... I want to cause a little bit of drag when doing this, just a little bit. But I want to slow us down a little bit. Lock back to prograde. I think we're going to have way too much velocity here. More of the flaps in the reaction wheels. Well, it's not RCS, that's all I know. I'm trying to pull my nose up before without flipping it. It's fighting me. We're in, we're coming over too fast here. So we're down to 102. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm actually very comfortable. <laughs> Thanks though. 
in the atmosphere. I knew that. I knew that. All right. So again, I'm I'm trying to pull our nose up to cause some drag here. I think that'll be fine. All right. So again, my mark is this needs to be um, 15 kilometers, and then I start my turn. <sighs> and I, for some reason, my, my lights just went from normal to intense. I don't know why. So we're still we're 19,000 meters up. All right, so let's start doing this turn. Whoa, 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 I'm gonna lose it. No, okay. No. Having a little trouble. Having a little trouble here. There we go. Whoa, nose up, nose up, nose up, nose up. Nose up. There we go. Okay, nose up, nose up, nose. By the way, I don't know how to fly a plane, so. So hopefully, we have enough velocity to do this. Looks like we should. Hundred hundred and one delta V left. Explodey things. No, no, I don't want to do no explodey. This is seven Kerbals. So we're still 7,000 meters up. I'm just trying to fly, I guess, crosswind here so I can get lined up on the runway. Twenty-five degrees to make the runway. Having troubles with the Mon base. Well, that's about twenty-five degrees right there. Slow down a little bit. Let's get the gear down. I mean, I know there's a proper procedure, angle, degrees, and way to do it. I can never figure it out. I just wing it. Get it? Wing. Oh, you guys aren't paying attention. So we're going to have a little bit of a stall, a little hiccup here, because I have something down at the end of the runway here. Easy. Okay, physics range coming in. Oh, pull your nose up, pull your nose up. All right, nothing broke. We're good, we're good. All right, so we're gonna try something. Somebody was suggesting that, um, we landed, by the way. Nothing broke, everything's good.
wasn't wasn't ideal but we made it no one died so this evidently <laughs> thanks Taz this evidently oh <gasps> what's this all right so yay <laughs> we did it <laughs> it's funny oh all right so optional land I like that all right so let's go ahead and recover these guys just minor back problems nothing a massage can't work out um <laughs> you know it might be because I have the shades open and there might be some sunlight coming through so successful STS 61 landing is always optional right all right excellent and that is definitely well still it's it's funny it it doesn't well okay so it said we completed it but it's still in there as a contract all right now it's done Oh, yeah. Wow, look at all this stuff. Very cool. STS-71, Mirror Space Station. Cool. Pathfinder, uh -huh. land your rover on Duna. Well, we need to wait until Viking 2 gets there. What does the Shoemaker do? Land on or grapple to an asteroid. <gasps> oh, scary. All right, so is what we're going to do here is we're going to revisit what we did yesterday. Um, we, we did a simulated Duna unmanned craft on Minmus. What kind of mic stand do I, do I use? Um, it's a, an army thing, an arm. I don't, who makes it? Hang on. It's a road. Let me see if I can find it. Road mic stand it's fairly generic it's kind of like kind of like it's like that one that thing pretty much looks like it okay um so what we did yesterday is we tried to make the smallest unmanned um, you could grapple, then capture an asteroid in Kerbin. I could, I could, I could. I mean, I've done two asteroids. Uh, one, I didn't have enough Delta V to bring it back. The second one I captured it was a smaller one. I took it into orbit around the moon. But um, again, my career is is two things: to colonize the moon, which I did because I had to relearn how to use the MKS mod, the mobile colonization system. Um, and I did it. it. It works. It works. Uh, I learned a lot. Um, I redeployed stuff. Um, and then in, in, my, in my wanting to go to Duna, I want to do a smaller scale. And I want to minimize the Kerbal footprint. So we designed this. We launched it. We deployed it. It works. However, it's not expandable. And we need to make it expandable, I think. Not that it needs to expand. Um, and also, I think what the problem is, is we have to... Um, when this thing runs out of machinery, it won't do anything else. Because you need machinery as part of the process. The only way I can get machinery to it is to drop machinery canister and let the local warehouse pick it up. But I don't think that's going to work because... It needs to be able to pull. And there's nothing here that's going to do a pull because the, uh, the MPU only does a push. Unless I'm... Unless I'm interpreting that incorrectly. So again, what I have here, it's a little, it's the smallest I could do for everything and to make it self-sufficient. 
the one thing I want to change with this is I want to go two drills versus one drill depending upon the, uh, the what we want to do but we have one drill that's doing just metallic ore and we have another drill that's just doing gypsum somewhere there it is just doing gypsum and is what we do is we store it in large containers well wow, that's full and if we can't fill it up that's fine and then we have that's full too then is what we do is we have uh, crush o that take this one takes the gypsum converts it to fertilizer and this one is a smelt o and takes the um, uh, the metallic ore and makes metal and then puts them into their little tiny containers and then these should be um, so they haven't made an, they haven't smelted enough so I'm wondering we're collecting at a pretty good pace but we're not converting at a good enough pace so I'm thinking I might have to double up on the uh, the omatics here so if we do a little time acceleration insufficient power oh so now I have a power problem I didn't have a power problem last time see and this hmm so that's my reactor and all the cooling I'm confused. So we have the planetary warehouse turned on. Oh, you know what? I, I think I maybe know what's wrong. Let's turn this off. Turn the drills back on. The one thing I didn't test with it was with the MPU being on. So start. and start <sighs> all right so Hmm. So we need the fertilizer. So when we start making supplies, because we're going to go fertilizer and mulch, but that's going to be somewhere else. So I think to I think to speed this up, our our um, we're going to do a replacement for this. I think we're going to put two of these smelto crushomatics, and we'll move the cooling somewhere else. So let's go do that. Let's redesign this because we're not getting enough of the, the drilling and the storing is working fine. It's the conversion and um, I don't know how to solve the machinery problem. I mean, it doesn't use that much machinery. Because if you do local warehouse, I believe that's called scavenging. And scavenging requires logistics, and you need a piloted logistics, I believe. I think so. All right, so let's load up. Actually, let's go to the VAB. Let's load up what we launched because I think I changed it. Uh, so I want to load up the 
Minimus Gypsum Metallic. I must learn my alphabet. Minmus. It uses that much machinery. That much. Yeah, I, I didn't see the machinery. I am just want to make sure. Um, what am I looking for? Minmus gypsum. Minmus gypsum. There it is. So let's load this in. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of... No, 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 go back. I clicked the wrong thing. I clicked the wrong... I apologize. Let's get rid of that. Whoa. Let's get rid of this. And then let's grab... Oh, that's right. We have the sky crane. Actually, let's grab the whole thing. Come on. I know. I know. You're all topsy-turvy. I get it. All right, so... Let's go ahead and pull the sky crane off for oh, okay. Let's uh redo root. Let's pull that off. Um let's go ahead and uh, just uh extend our stabilizers for now so they're not in the way. Ooh. Oh, god, they're buried in there. All right, so the challenge is to, we'll take that and that, and then easily we can take this and put it there. And then we can take, whoa, whoa, take that and put that there. Now, we do have a node for cooling here. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, wait, wait, what didn't that work? All right, that was... Not that hard. <laughs> that wasn't that hard at all. The thing about it is, is it possible that I can set maneuver... Wait. Is it possible that I can't set maneuver nodes yet? My Jeb is level one. It's not It's not that your pilots can't set maneuver nodes. It's your facility. Um, hang on one sec. Let me um, put this back. Let's call this version two. Save it. Um, to do maneuver nodes, I believe two buildings have got to go from level one to level two. It, it's been a while, and I apologize if I don't know that off the top of my head. Um, the tracking station and the uh, where you get your contracts, uh, mission control, those buildings have got to be upgraded from level one to level two. And to do that, you right mouse click and you will up, you uh, level up. So this building, mission control, and this building. Once you upgrade those, then the, the thing about it is what is it called? Yeah, so flight planning available. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, you're welcome. So let's take... Um, uh, anytime, Martin. Anytime. So I want to take this version 2, put it on the runway, and I want to see if we're going to have any heating. We ran out of power. We shouldn't have ran out of power. I guess I can put some solar panels. I don't know. So we want Minmus something. What's it called again? Minmus Gypsum Metallic. Uh, Minmus. Gypsum version two. All right. Um, so I know we have extra power. We have extra cooling. These crushomatics. Where are they at? Where are the crushomatics? All right. Okay, they don't require any additional cooling. Just very okay. Cool. Um. So let's go ahead and I sure would like to, if I could. Nah, that should be fine. Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. 
it's gonna be ugly so hang on let's take this off take this off um, what's up rock dog put a search bar for the hangers yeah there's a search bar vehicles in the hangers a search for the vehicles um, there is a mod that does that and it works really nicely the what I don't like is that it does an index of your um, your uh, your uh, your editors and it creates additional files in your game and that gets confusing when you're trying to clean up stuff so I know good with the bad alright so what if I take a stabilizer and let's put this in, would it be radial or mirror? If I put this here, okay, so we want to do radial. Nope, still not going to work. Oh, wait, no. What about mirror? Still, darn it. Mm. Uh, there's only two features being added. One is the uh, ambient light and one is the uh, customizable asteroids. Fine. So it's what I wanted to do is, and this ain't cooperating, it's not making it easier for me. So I wanted to put another, now if I try to go mirror, it puts it there. And if I go radial, it puts it up there. All right, because of that. All right. All right, so I'm just going to have to do this. So what we'll do is we'll center this right there. Oh wait, that's probably not in the right spot, is it? Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, customizable asteroids and minimum ambient. That's the only features that are being added. And again, I don't say that to make it sound like it's nothing cool. It is cool. All right, so what I'm trying to do, oh. So, cool, I guess. I don't know. Oops. Um, okay, so hang on. Wait. Hang. Just slow down. Can I have that? Thank you. All right. Then let's do the same over here. If I can figure it out. Um, they seem to be level. All right. Um, the thing about it is, is I want these in an action group, so let's... Alright. So, let's put on the launch pad. There's actually a mod that allows you to put custom asteroids out there already, but... So basically... Like someone said before, that usually as the game progresses through updates, they'll find mods uh, out there that they can implement that won't unbalance the game and adds variety. So, cool. Hey, and again, I apologize for my light. I wonder if that's something I can fix in the camera here real quick. So if I go to my camera, properties... I mean, it's a little bit too bright. Let me just see if I can, um, hold please, hold. What am I looking for? Advanced settings, if I turn down the gain. Oh, it's so much nicer looking. All right, I look pink again, <laughs> pink, fleshy. All right, cool, all right. All right, so, yeah, okay, so we need to, well, why do those two not touch? But oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. The, so uh, they're all hovering. All right. So 
So the thing is, see, it's going to wobble. All right, let's go fix the, the leggy problem. So we need to lower the new ones. The vehicle is... Sorry, that was rude. The vehicle is wobbly. You are correct. So we're going to... The new legs, we or the new stabilizers we just added. See, these things get weird when you try to offset them. So what we'll do is we'll grab the whole kit and caboodle. And... Let's see if we can't do it here. I can't get lowered to the ground. All right. I mean, they're not off by much. So, okay. Please don't, please don't jump. Please don't jump. It jumped. All right, let's see if that works. And then we have to do the same thing with this one. Once again, please don't jump, please don't jump, please don't jump. Oh crap, jumped. All right, so let's action group these things. Toggle, 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 toggle. Save. Now don't forget, when it lands on Minmus, the um, the Sky Crane, we, we jettison it. I still look very washed out, don't I? I'm afraid I'm afraid to use the auto stuff because I don't trust it. All right, so let's see here. I'm I'm playing with the video camera again. So auto gain. Let's see what it does. All right, let me make note of where it's at. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Maybe my white balance is too high. Whoa, that was that was not good. Put that back. All right. Um. All right, fine. I'll leave that autoed. All right. Um, okay. Did this oh, see? Hmm. So we're still gonna wobble, aren't we? All that time, and it didn't seem to do much. I'm just too white. Oh well. I get it. I see what you did there. The whole face. I get it. Alright. Jumped again. Stop jumping. You're making me very angry. Not really. Alright, let's see how that works. Let's work. Oh, hats. No thanks. I just want these stabilizers to be even. And it's an afterthought, of course, adding the other two. I wonder if I can rotate. Oh, I know if I rotate the, the whatever I call this thing, then I think mirror will work or one of them. Okay, that works. That works. That's a wobble. 
Nope, cool. Um, all right, so here's the deal. Is this gonna be very boring? Or we're gonna power up the reactor and it's gonna have a heating issue. So we have to power up all the cooling. First of all, did those get, okay, we have to auto strut those. All right, so activate the cooling. Thank you. Stupid stutter. Uh, activate that cooling. And we'll activate this cooling. So all the cooling for everything should now be running. So by activating those three thermal control systems, it um, sparked a load. That's cool. So now is what we want to do is uh, deploy our drills. Thank you. Let's deploy this drill. Oh, oops. All right, so where's the drill at? Drill, 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 drill. There we go. So let's put this drill here. And this drill here. So what have we done that's different? Well, we've increased our crush matics and smelt matics And we're gonna put um, this seems odd. Okay. Kind of generic, but okie dokie. Right. What seems odd? Alright, so again, is what we're doing, we're doing a little stress testing here. So we're going to turn on our drills. Why do you drill the landing road of hangar? You mean the runway? Uh, because it's Minmus, it's a test, and there's actually ore here, or stuff here. And we're going to revert it anyway, so any damage I've done is going to be erased. Alright, so the drills have ramped up all the way. So we have a 69% load. And um, let's see here. Oh, so what we need to do is find the containers. Uh, 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 not that. No, it's right. No, there. All right, there's the container. Okay, metallic ore is filling up. And then the other one should be. No, that's fine. I mean, you need to test the stuff. If you keep building it and testing it on, on site, then, you know, and it doesn't work. That's a waste of money, career mode. All right, so the drills are doing what they need to do. We have sufficient power, sufficient cooling, and we're digging up metallic ore, and we're digging up gypsum. Cool. So now is what I want to do is we're going to bring up... This container is for metal, so that's the end result of metallic ore. So we're going to put that right here. And on this side is fertilizer. Thank you. And we're going to put that right there. And then this. So this is our fertilizers. We're going to start up both the fertilizers. And we want to keep track of those don't need cooling, but they need power. Okay, those are running. Then let's go ahead and start up the metal ones. Okay, I didn't see our power jump. Um, am I missing anything? I don't need to turn on the MPU. I mean, I, c I could, that helps with metal. Why is that getting warm? Oh, it's getting cool. Never mind. All right. Um, so again, the cooling's going up, but I think it's going to be fine. So let's do a little time acceleration here. So I see, again, I see... Um, I see our metallic ore and our gypsum is filling up. Gypsum's filling up faster. And I see the conversion of 
fertilizer and metals. So it is working, it's just, uh, it's really slow because these are low end things. Uh, when I plan a grav sling, a gravity slingshot, and use focus view on the planet, I try to go behind for more speed. Usually is what you're doing is you're, you're uh, getting the planet or the celestial body to a, uh, depending upon the rotation of the planet that you're trying to do it around. So you could either slow yourself down or speed yourself up. So yes. So I don't know if this is going any faster having two of these working. Maybe. But um So the end result is to have these containers the end result pushed out. And our machinery is holding okay. I wonder if we're going to have to even do machinery drops since I have so much machinery out here already. I don't know. We didn't run out of power. I think, I think version two. I think is what we'll do is we'll, well we're going to land this next to the other one and we're going to compare. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do a launch. We're going to use the same launch vehicle. We're just going to replace the payload. Ooh, sounds like I know what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go over to the VAB. And, um, you know, I'm still not, hang on a sec. I'm, ha I'm having a, a dilemma here. Oops. Uh, um, um, I think. Yeah. 